Hello, I'm Anu Hassan. I'm an actress, TV presenter and published author from India. I'm also an entrepreneur and businesswoman. With a body of work in media that spans 25 years, six languages and two countries, my Positivity series videos are designed for those moments when you um, need a shot in the arm, food for thought and sometimes even just a moment to smile. I wrote a poem not very long ago that I shared on my Facebook page. What is it that you see when you turn your face to look at me? It was not so much a question for which I sought an answer, but a cue for you to look beyond the external appearance of people. Because not everyone has a perfect life. We're all trying to be happy, some a bit harder than others. Behind every smile, there is a lesson that has been learned. And behind every strong persona, there is someone who has been knocked down in life and who has determinedly stood up again. People seem to be of the opinion that I am very lucky or successful or both. I would tend to agree with them, but not for the reasons that they think. It's not as if I have not seen failures. I have. And just as you have, I've wanted things that I've not got. I've seen rejection. But you know what? I am as used to success as I am to failure in both my professional as well as my personal life. When I've seen success, I haven't gone crazy or dizzy with happiness. And when I've seen failure, I haven't been heartbroken. That being the case, so why would I agree with somebody when they say I'm lucky or successful? Simple. I think I'm lucky because I'm genetically programmed to be positive. And why am I successful? Because I have diligently protected that side of me from all the failures that I've seen in life and I have never lost my zest for life. In the professional front, every time I go for an audition, I set myself up for failure. Bear in mind that I have never auditioned in India after that first test shoot that I did for Suhasini for the movie Indra. But here in the UK, it's a completely different matter. Nobody cares if you have a body of work that spans more than 25 years. There is a role, you have to audition for it. Granted that this year I've had a better success rate in my auditions than usual, but usually I have less than a 50% chance of getting through an audition, which means more than half the times I set myself up a failure, I am not going to be chosen, I'm going to face rejection. Some people think that might be difficult, but actually, you know what? It's not, because basically I have two options, right? The first option is to say, okay, so maybe I was not the kind of person they were looking for for this role, shrug my shoulders and carry on. The second option is for me to kick my heels and bawl my eyes out loudly, accusing people of being biased, uh, of having an agenda, they don't like my nose, you know, all kinds of creative, negative uh, accusations that I can make on the selection team. <laughs> Consider this, the number of words that I use to describe option one and the number of words I use to describe option two. Too much effort, life is too short. Why I'm busy being depressed and accusing someone of being unfair? Who knows, there could have been another opportunity and I could have succeeded at it, right? So, you lost. Fine, so move on. Stop whining about it. Because if you keep whining about life, then you'll only have a life that is worth whining about. And my personal life is marked with rather healthy doses of failure. Better, because otherwise, a disgustingly positive person like me would be completely unbearable if it weren't for these blows that deflates the exuberance a little bit, right? But jokes apart, for every failed relationship that I have, I have a gloriously successful friendship on the other hand. So yes, I've had to accept that some things in life are not meant to be. Do I feel sad about it? Sometimes. Do I wish things were different? Sometimes. But then, Life is not all about just one thing, isn't it? Show me a person who you say has everything and I'll show you a liar. The proud parent may have given up their dreams or given up their ambition. The successful professional may have problems in a relationship or a failed marriage or the happily married successful professional may not have children or they may have children who have problems. The permutations and combinations are endless 
And if people thought what they didn't have defined how successful they are, then everyone is a failure, isn't it? But that's not true. When things go wrong, sometimes I treat myself to a nice dose of self-pity. Feels marvelous. Like a box of chocolates when you're on a strict diet, right? You eat the chocolates really fast, trying to outpace the guilt that is sure to follow. It's fine for some time. But after that, logic kicks in. Then I ask myself, what is it that I learned from this failure? Is it that I was not trained for it? Is it that I expected too much? Or did I give too much of myself? Or did I know that this was slated for failure? And did I determinedly plow on? Well, whatever the lesson is, like I said, I have no choice but to accept it. <laughs> because option two is too much effort. <laughs> it is so important to not let the failures at one point affect you negatively beyond that point. It has to affect you, yes. But allow it to affect you positively. Don't go after the job for which you don't have the training or the skills for. Because you've tried it before and you failed. Or if you do want to go after it, then get the training done. Similarly, when it comes to people whose values in life are very different from yours, don't be surprised if the friendship or the relationship doesn't work out because you've tried it before and it has failed. But remember the pain of failure and rejection, not so you can hug it close and feel like a noble martyr, but so that you don't make the same mistakes again. Show some ingenuity, make some new ones. And my approach to life is this. Every plan has to have a backup and every backup has to have an alternative. If not this, then something else. But never give up. And so I get up to fight another day. There are many battles to be fought and successes to be seen. And yes, many more failures and rejections to be faced. But I welcome them all because after all, today's failure gives me a better chance for tomorrow's success. Life is like boxing. You don't lose when you fall down. You lose when you fail to get up. And each time you fall, a lesson is learnt and a defense built. Keep your life sunny side up.